What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about whether or not Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is dead on arrival. Now the news and hype for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 has been going around for months now and I've kind of been silent on the topic mainly because I haven't been too into the Call of Duty uh, community in the past couple of months just that's just how my life has played out lately uh, but also because you know every year I get hype for the new Call of Duty or to some degree I get like you know at least a little bit excited like oh a new Call of Duty is coming out um, and I've just been disappointed so many years in a row now that I didn't want to do that again for Black Ops 4 so I figured you know what I'm not gonna upload any you know uh, uh, and everything we know videos or any you know first reactions or first impressions or anything like that I just wanted to be, be silent for the whole time and just kind of, you know, wait and see what the community thinks and wait for there to be more and more information coming out. And now that we are about halfway through July, uh, it seems like August, we're going to be having a beta for multiplayer, September, a beta for the Battle Royale mode. Uh, and I want to make this video kind of just talking about if, you know, if Black Ops 4 is already, is already like done for. Now, there's a couple of reasons for this. Um, but the first thing that I want to start off with is the fact that there's no single player. And that alone is not a bad thing I mean everybody knows that games in general all the games that are coming out over the last couple of years have just been primarily uh, multiplayer with maybe a little bit of single player here and there uh, in terms of like you know if you want you can buy Fortnite's single player version but primarily it's multiplayer uh, and a lot of games have been doing that and you know I don't think that single player is a big deal I don't think we needed it uh, but if there's no single player then why is it black ops 4 i mean if there's no story then how does it tie into the other black ops games well the answer is it doesn't i mean yeah multiplayer might be a similar setting with this like returning specialists uh, but beyond that it's it really they could have called it anything uh, and the only reason that they chose black ops 4 uh, is because everybody knows that the black ops franchise is seen as the best of the call of duty franchises so when they're picking a name they're just gonna pick one that they think is going to do well in terms of marketing and promotion and everything like that uh, the problem with this is that I've heard from a lot of people in and out of the community when they announced Black Ops 4 a lot of people were like wow you know another Black Ops game like man this has been going on for a really long time and you know people are kind of just sick of the whole black ops thing i mean you know like, like i said black ops is probably the best franchise that call of duty has uh but now that we're on a fourth one it, it gets to be like you know the saw franchise like how many saw movies have they released at this point you know they just know that they're gonna keep pumping them out until people stop buying them and you know it's it's just got that uh it's just got that franchise attached to it because they think that it's going to increase sales. Another big reason that Black Ops 4 might be dead on arrival is because of all the incredible games that everybody has already moved on to. Uh, the Call of Duty community has been neglected, abused, and taken advantage of for years now, and I, and I don't use those words lightly. Uh, they have been nickeled and dimed for every single entry in the franchise, uh, and the past few entries have not been good. I mean, everybody knows that. Besides Black Ops 3, the past few games have been trash you know my uh, world war ii was okay at launch but you know they really gave us half of a game i mean it had half the amount of guns half the amount of maps half the amount of content as previous call of duty games so really we got sick of it super super quickly uh and they tried to keep us you know involved with different events and things like that but you know the, the players who have who have been we've been fatigued for years now where we're just exhausted and tired of like of like giving call of duty all of these chances and they can't do it right uh so you know once once they break that trust every year uh it's hard to pull people back because it's like there's so many other amazing games that are out now that are not only cheaper than call of duty but are way more fun and provide way more value uh so it's it's like you know call of duty has never seen this much competition before you know yeah maybe four years ago you could say well there's you know call of duty is the biggest franchise every year it drops and sells the most copies and whatever um but over the past few years of call of duty you know uh loyal players just being 
just being the companies under delivering every single year and asking for way more money every year they're asking for more and more money first it was supply drops and 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 there well first it was the the DLC packs, then the seasons passed, then they started putting in like the peacekeeper and other guns and camos, and then they put in the the supply drops, and, and there's just been you know people have been nickel and dime for forever now, uh, and and they're just getting sick of it. So over the last four years, there's been all these games that have been popping up, and you know while they haven't taken down Call of Duty in, in the sense that they've sold more copies. Uh, their fan base has grown more and more and more every single year and, and this past year is probably the most significant of them all because the Battle Royale franchise came out and just completely changed uh, the gaming scene so everybody's playing Fortnite and PUBG and I mean who are we kidding no one's playing PUBG it's all Fortnite but anyway there's these other games that cost almost nothing to play uh, I mean you could play Fortnite for free right like people choose to spend money on it but you can play it for free uh, and and there's no barrier to entry there you don't even need PlayStation Plus to play Fortnite online it, it's it's that simple it's free not to mention games like Rainbow Six Battlefield they've all been capitalizing on the fact that Call of Duty has been trash for the past few years uh, you know if you look at Rainbow Six you can you can talk about how siege initially came out in 2015 and the company's been supporting it since then because they know that people don't want to buy a $60 game plus expansions every single year uh, and and you know people are just getting sick of it so now that there's all of these this competition that you know started off not a huge threat uh, and then over time Call of Duty has been tanking and all the players have been like okay well screw this we're not gonna play Call of Duty anymore and they switch to other games like Fortnite and CSGO and Siege and Battlefield and all these other incredible titles on top of that E3 this year was awesome I mean look at Nintendo Nintendo's releasing amazing games this year with Super Smash Bros coming out and they're releasing Pokemon and then people are excited about the new Spyro game coming out, the Spyro remaster you know there's tons of games coming out in the next couple of months that are gonna be really great I mean Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out and and that's gonna be a huge release from Rockstar so you know there's all these amazing games that have grown over the past few years that Call of Duty has been neglecting its fan base plus all of the new genre games like Fortnite and all these other games that have popped off in the last year or so and then there's other just standard AAA titles that are dropping at the end of the year that everybody is is excited for uh, and then left in the middle is Call of Duty right it's just standing there doing the same thing that it's done for years and they can say all they want that they're innovating that this is the this is a great black ops experience people are gonna really like this uh, and then you know the, one of the first things we find out is that the black ops pass has to be purchased in full in order to get any DLC at all you know like you have to buy all the DLC or none of the DLC and that's it plus the perks that you get for pre-ordering uh, the digital version right like you have to pre-order digitally if you want to get the throwback map pack or whatever that you can play on black ops 3 right now you know so they're just doing all of these nickel and dime micro you know it's it's almost like they're it's like a passive aggressive way to make money like yeah you can buy the game for sixty dollars but really you're not getting the full game unless you get the pass and you're not getting the full game with the pass unless you pre-order it digitally uh, but there's also the deluxe edition that comes with stickers and coins and all this other fucking bullshit you should probably get that too and you know while you're at it while you're at GameStop on launch night get a t-shirt and a mug and it's like like I get that they're this massive company that has to make money right but it gets to a point where you know that they're not putting in nearly as much effort as they used to you know and maybe blackout is gonna be really good uh, but you're competing with Fortnite which has been around I mean the battle royale mode of Fortnite by the time blackout uh, or black ops 4 drops Fortnite will have been going strong for like a year so you know it, it makes absolutely no sense why would people jump over to Call of Duty it's like oh now you gotta spend sixty dollars just to try it it's like that's ridiculous so I don't know I, I'm not sure what to think uh, but it, it feels to me like and, and that Black Ops 4 is not going to be well received despite it being a Black Ops game despite catering to the Battle Royale demographic despite everything uh, they're just they've run really dry on loyal fans of the series of the Call of Duty series uh, and it's just it gets really 
really sad and disheartening and then you have people like me where it's like you know i feel like i should make a video about it because i have a call of duty channel but at the end of the day it's like i'm actually not excited like i'm really not i really there's very little inside of me that's excited for black ops 4 you know I, i'm gonna be maybe i'll play the beta and play the the blackout beta and whatever see what it's all about uh but i really have no I have no, there's nothing in me that is optimistic about Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I don't expect to play the beta and be like, oh, this is awesome. Like, you know, the past couple of years, I've thought that. I thought like, oh, you know, I'll play the beta and if it's good, that'll be really cool. Um, but no, but I, I don't feel, I don't, I'm not excited for the beta because I, I don't expect this game to be very good. Uh, and who knows, like maybe I will be proven wrong, but I really doubt it. So it just leaves me to question, like, is Black Ops 4 dead on arrival like what comes next what what is the, what is next for call of duty how are they going to fix this if they're going to fix it at all and if they aren't how long is it going to take for them to really just run this franchise onto the ground uh, and that's about it guys so thank you so much for watching let me know what your comments and your thoughts are in the comment section below um, i would love to hear from you guys make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video subscribe if you're new around here and click that bell so you know the next time that i upload uh, and that, that's about it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace